sub you two. Seriously. Oh, oh, luck here. And today, we have an announcement to make before we get into this new booster box. We have officially fully funded the Simply Unlucky first Simply Unlucky game shop. And I cannot thank you guys enough. Honestly, you guys, it's incredible that we could actually have gotten here. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Initially, our first dream, my first dream for Simply Unlucky since like starting videos 10 years ago. And I know a lot of you guys have been here for many, 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 many years. And so I can't thank you guys enough. And honestly, I hope that we can continue to create some awesome things and uh, give you guys some more chances to participate in them. But it's not over yet. So the Simple Lucky Game Shop uh, Kickstarter will still be going for the next, I believe, 20, 25 days or so. And um, we still have some more milestones to reach. Uh, we're hoping to do a wallpaper in the game shop, hoping to do some custom shelving for you guys. Also, we're uh, trying to get a stage in there, and so the stage is our highest milestone right now. And uh, first, I want to start off by saying we are going to be doing a giveaway. All that you guys have to do is par be participating in the Kickstarter at any tier, and we'll be giving away a uh, Rising Rampage booster box. If I can get a Rising Rampage, there we go, just Rampage right in there. Rising Rampage booster box here, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. See your fortune. And so this is the newest core set, so I'm very excited uh, to be giving away that to one Kickstarter. And um, we actually have your guys' uh, emails already in the Kickstarter, so don't worry about that. We will contact you, and uh, I'll be announcing the giveaway within a few days from now, next video. So uh, be ready for that. As for the other giveaway we did uh, for the uh, Konami Playmat, um, Konami hasn't gotten back to us yet, so just uh, give us a bit on that one. And, but yeah, you guys, cannot wait to do more updates for the Kickstarter. Mo a lot more coming. Um, the Celestial Duels playmatch should be coming in here within the next week. Um, possibly some Worlds content. I'm just going to throw that out, the little Easter egg for the future. Worlds content. Sorry, I don't know what I was saying. Worlds. Um, but yeah, you guys, so be ready for that. And uh, let's get into this new set. Speed Duels, Scars of Battle. You know what's funny with Speed Duels, you guys? So like, let's look at Rising Rampage. Look how big Rising Rampage is. When you look at a Speed Duel booster box, Konami has decided to make the Speed Duel the biggest font on the box. It's like, what is the actual name of the set, though? You're kind of like, uh, Steel and Swords? Uh, Scars of Battle? It's like, interesting, interesting. Small fonts. All right, you guys, so let's get straight into this set. Um, this is an exciting set for Mr. Bandit Keith himself, the ultimate cheater of Yu-Gi-Oh! So uh, that'll be fun. Thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we have the red Pro Mat sleeves today to go with our kind of red blue theme going on here. Very nice. And uh, let's get straight into it. Also, you guys, other than the Kickstarter, link at the top of the description below if you guys want to check it out. Updating some of the rewards as well. Um, a lot of cards on the different markets. Some of you guys are getting delayed shipments from us moving into the shop. Uh, I believe now, by the time you guys see this video, we are fully caught up on orders. So it's just uh, part of that whole thing. So apologies for that. But uh, we're back at it. Also, everything's on one inventory. It's the most exciting thing ever. No more inventory issues. All right, you guys. So the right side here, let's get started. Four cards per pack, 36 packs per box. And Joey himself on the front with some obviously some Gear Freed cards inside as well. Um, we also have an interesting... So with Bandit Keef, we have the Machines. And with the machines, you get some very cool cards that uh, in the original Duel Links, uh, hopefully we can find from like the original first release of Duel Links, some of the better cards. Uh, Spell Power Grass. I would imagine this card can end up being pretty dang broken in this format. Um, Infernity Dwarf and Launcher Spider, one of my first favorite cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! You know what's funny? As I always, I hated spiders, but for some reason, Launcher Spider was uh, by far one of my favorite cards. A mechanical spider with rocket launchers capable of random fire. I actually knew what that said. I should have been able to memorize it for you guys. And Gravity Axe Guraral. A pretty good card for some equipment. Your opponent's monsters can't change battle positions, I believe. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep it moving here. Straight through a Scars of Battle booster box. You guys, honestly, I'm so excited about the Kickstarter. I cannot believe it was funded in, what, a week? That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Love you guys. I cannot wait to open up one of the best card shops in the whole world world. Can't do it without you guys. Alright, Kabazals. Kabazals. Break! Draw! Uh, Empress Mantis and a major upset. Always gets me with these packs, you guys. These four card packs. There's no rares, no secrets, just supers and ultras. Oh, I'm guessing we got a super here. New Bones card. Major upset. Fire Reaper from LOB, right? Is that an LOB card? Maybe a tournament pack card. Very old. Seven completes. 
Or maybe it's just original Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Servants of the Fallen King. Because that would be funny if they actually hadn't printed it in English yet. It's only in Japanese. And now it is in English. Um, seven complete, though, for those machine cards. Again, Bandit Keith, big man in here. Uh, Servants of the Fallen King. Here's your bone support skill. Once per turn, you can send a level three or lower zombie normal monster from your deck to the grave. Uh, that makes things pretty interesting for some many different zombie cards. Of course, zombies always coming back from the grave, you guys. Um... Also with that, there's a pretty sweet ultra rare card in here. I'm very excited for that. Okay, we have Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Now this guy's interesting because I think I would imagine he's pretty good in this format as well. Flip and equip spell from your deck to your hand. It's like whoa. So uh, we just talked about Gravity Axe Grarl. Uh, you got the Dragon Sword from the last set. Uh, beginning of the end. Oh man, I used to love to collect this card. Ultimate rare. I was like, man, the beginning. Of the end. Actually, I think it was a. I was back in high school. Uh, what's it called? My senior quote might have seriously been be beginning of the end. That's uh, pretty corny. Anyways, Gravity X Raw. And speaking of an ultra rare that brings back zombies from the dead, it's the Book of Life. Uh, we were just talking about it. Um, actually, very gorgeous, very beautiful uh, rarity here. Ultra rare Book of Life. Highest rarity, official rarity of the card. Um, it was pretty much used in the first, I don't even know, formats of Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably until you got into, I mean, in ill blood times, I feel like this guy was still being used. Book of Life, target one zombie monster in your grave and one monster in your opponent's grave, special summon the first and banish the second. So this was good against like chaos decks because you're banishing their light and darks, but you're also bringing back your zombies that have all their shenanigans. Uh, but eventually it got too slow and it kind of got phased out. Um, but in... Duel Links, I would imagine this card is, uh, I'm not Duel Links, sorry, Speed Duels. This card is very good. We're gonna go ahead and sleeve this up with our red sleeve thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro. Look at Jaden all happy we pulled a Book of Life. We're gonna set that right there. So, pretty powerful card. Uh, the prices for this set, we're gonna throw out some prices for you on screen um, on simplyunlucky.com. The new website, new hosting is officially up, again, with our inventory all there. Uh, Magical Plants, Master Craftsman Gamel. During the damage set, face a monster you control. Quick effect, send this card from your hand to the grave. That monster gains 300. It's like a mini Honest. That's interesting. Spell Power Grasp again. You might see some value on some of these comments. We'll see. Um, but yes, some of these prices will be on SableLucky.com. Um, but since the set just came out, you know, be patient with us on the pricing. It may move around a bit. Okay, so we got Slot Machine here. Some more Bandit Keith. Machine's ability is said to vary according to its slot results. Uh, machine Conversion Factory and Gatekeeper. I believe, was this a tournament? Tournament pack card from back in the day? An indestructible mechanoid. Machinoid, mechanoid. Mechanoid, there we go. Created for the sole purpose of guarding the gateways of the dark world. The gateways of the dark world. All right, you guys, next pack. Here we go. We got Blasphere in here. This card could actually do some damage. Ally of Justice, Core Destroyer. If this card battles light monster, destroy that monster. This card actually held some value, I think, from Hidden Arsenal for a cool minute. Kotetsu's back. Gatekeeper again. All right, as we see our repeats of the commons, uh, we'll go ahead and move a little quicker. Danny Pong. Uh, Command Knight. Master Craftsman again. A little mini Honest. This is interesting. Face a monster you control battles. Quick effect. Okay, 300 attack. And Pendulum Machine, nice. Um, and if you're curious, it does say Speed Duels right there, if I can get the light on there for you guys. So it still says Speed Duels on the card, um, kind of embossed, and then the uh, Speed Duels, of course, where you would norm normally see uh, Limited Edition. Okay. Fighting Spirit, Release Restraint, Beginning of the End, Empress Mantis. Uh, speaking of Mantis or insect and dinosaur cards, coming out at technically the same time as this, but I believe we're going to be getting it tomorrow, is the starter deck for Rex and Weevil. Um, so be ready for that video coming out very soon. Bokoichi, um, the frightening car. So we actually might not have the giveaway ready for you by the next video, just letting you guys know. But again, giveaway for this video to those who are participating in the Kickstarter at any of the tiers, uh, we'll be giving away a Rising Rampage booster box. Um, very exciting. Can't thank you guys enough. Reached our first goal. Oh my gosh. It's crazy, you guys. It's crazy. The things that we're going to be doing. Fortress Whale is in here. Spellbinding Circle. You know what's funny is Fortress Whale might actually be a short print common here. Uh, maybe similar similar to the uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon. 
And again, with the Kickstarter, you guys, more updates coming as well to like the Celestial Duelist um, play mats and stuff like that. Hopefully trying to get some in, in here within the next week so we can showcase them a bit as add-ons. Insect armor, ma magical plants, barrel dragon. Uh, honestly like this guy a lot as a kid. Uh, looks pretty sweet as a super rare. I don't think he's ever been printed as a super rare. Um, once per turn, target a monster your opponent controls, flip three coins, destroy it if there's two of the results are heads. And this goes well with some coin cards and whatnot. But also, it's a Bandit Keith card, so here you go. Barrel Dragon, freaking sweet. Um, I wonder how good it'll be in this format. I'm curious, curious. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up there. Barrel Dragon. Very nice. All right, let's keep moving here. What other cards can we get from Mr. Bandit Keith? Launcher Spider 7 complete, Ally of Justice again. Okay. Um, but yeah, on the Barrel Dragon, you guys, uh, the it is a censored art for all you guys that are always interested in that kind of thing. I know I've talked about it before, obviously, but this it actually had sh uh, gun barrels, actual gun barrels, and Konami decided to censor that. I wonder if the, that'll be a card they bring back from the Lost Art promotion. I feel like maybe that one they'll avoid. The guns. Spellbinding Circle, Jurak, Tyrannus, Kabazuls. So the dinosaurs again to go in Mr. Rex Raptor's deck. Oh man, we got a Bandit Keith card here. Infernity Dwarf, Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie. The beams of the eyes of this creature are said to return enemies into zombies. Wow. Fortress Whale, there we go, our first Fortress Whale in the entire box. It has been a long time coming. Is this seriously the second printing of this card? First printing was what? Tournament Pack 8, 6, 4, one of you guys could post in the comments below. I believe Fortress Whale was the most valuable super rare in the game as a graded card. Maybe around or behind Harpy's Feather Duster, which we pulled in a tournament pack opening. That was pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, Fortress Whale was insanely valuable. So a second printing of Fortress Whale, long time coming. Might actually be um, a decent card too. Oh, it's the ultra rare Heavy Metal Raiders, and I like this because this has the set name of Metal Raiders in it. Uh, also ha having a lot of Bandit Keith cards, so clever Konami. Clever. I like it. Heavy Metal Raiders. Alright, so this is Keith skill. Here we go. Um, wow. The first time each Dark Machine monster you control would be destroyed by battle each turn, it's not destroyed. And if you took battle damage from a battle, it gains that much attack after calculation. And it keeps that attack it gains as long as this card is on the field. It's a field spell. Okay. Wow. That is insanity. Once per turn, if a monster you control that was originally a dark machine destroys a monster, destroys a cards on the field by battle or card effect, you can special summon one dark machine from your hand. What? What? That is such a broken field spell. So that makes sense why they're printing all these, and normally you would call them interesting normal dark machine monsters in here because they're like whoa this card can get insane real quick and this is interesting because when you think about kind of the uh i guess the overall power level of the game of speed duels konami's just kind of taking it back on each set and doing you know its own kind of theme for each set releases trying to not make any really overpowered cards like windstorm attack what oh you know in most decks changing the battle position all monsters but still to see a heavy metal Raiders card like this to, to be so themed on a, um, I guess you would say these interesting dark machine monsters that they've printed and making them so much more stronger with this card. It's pretty insane. Uh, but do be careful for the cards that destroy the field spells. Um, that could be go pretty bad real quick. Um, but of course it said or effect there, so Barrel Dragon is included. Um, not just by battle, but by card effect. So Barrel Dragon being very powerful. Um, but yeah, Konami's gonna have to be careful about the machines they uh, come out with from now on the dark machines uh Dukoichi, the battle locomotive is this a normal machine so we're destroyed by about dark machine dark machine and dark machine wow so Dukoichi, the battle locomotive um is probably going to end up being one of the more valuable super rares in this set um now talking about book of life Dukoichi probably made it a bit past book of life in the whole meta um being a dark 1400 flip it replaces itself with a draw card effect so break draw there's your Dark Machine Pendulum Machine. A horrible torture machine with a large large pendulum blade. Wow. Classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards there. Torture Machine. And like Nightmare Wheel reminds me of that. 
Eternal Rest, Insect Armor. All right, we're gonna be moving a little quicker now that we talked about Heavy Metal Raiders for a cool minute. Honestly though, I love cards like that. That is exactly what I want from Konami when it comes to speed duels. Just skill cards that are out of this world, crazy cool. Helps turn the interesting cards into crazy ones. Love it. Fortress of Whale, Security Orb. Interesting to see Security Orb in here. Seven complete. I wonder if that card would actually be useful. Kotetsu can search for it. Jurak, Release Restraint, Spell Power Harassment, and guess who? Crystal Seer. Konami has officially printed the Apprentice Magician engine. You guys remember back in the day, that was some good times. I believe it was for Monarchs. Apprentice Magician searching out your uh, Magician of Faith, or, which is, I think was limited to one, um, or your Crystal Seers, which you're playing two or three of, because this is technically better than a Dekoichi in the fact that you choose what card you draw, flip, excavate the top two cards of your deck, then add one of them in your hand, then place the other on the bottom. So this whole excavate thing actually comes into play here, so that's pretty cool. Um, but the whole Dekoichi, this is actually better than Dekoichi because you get to choose, you get a kind of a scry. This is a scry effect if you'd seen Magic the Gathering, but it's not dark. So you end up playing Dekoichi instead. Man, classic cards here, I'm loving it, you guys. The freaking Apprentice Magician engine is out. And you know what's cool is if Breaker ends up coming out in this format, which I feel like they'll release Breaker because I think Breaker is still one of the more valuable epic cards played in uh, Duel Links. Breaker probably end up being a very valuable card if they do print it um, for Speed Duels. Uh, but Apprentice Magician gives a spell counter when it comes on the field. So Breaker, that would be pretty good. Fortress Whale, uh, Bokoichi. Uh, it's interesting that they pr uh, printed Boikoichi. Bokoichi. Uh, it helps you draw more cards with Dekoichi, but also this is a Machine Dupe card, and I don't know if they would print Machine Dupe for Speed Duels. Machine Dupe being a very powerful card, but if there's not that many 500 or less machines, then is it really that powerful? But it's kind of one of those cards you got to be careful with. Eternal Rest, Launcher Spider again, Screech, it's normal secret rare from Gladiator's Assault, if I can remember. If this card destroys, destroy the battle, send two water monsters from your deck to the grave. Normally a secret. Command Knight is in here, guys. This guy can get powerful real quick. All warrior monsters you control gain 400, so he's technically a 16. 1900 defense, though, if you see that. If you control another monster, opponent controls cannot target this card for attacks. Okay. So much to talk about, man. The Speed Duels, classic cards here, you guys. I'm loving it. Got a longer video here. Try to speed up a little bit. Uh, Magical Plants, though. I wonder... Do they have a plan? Because that's also place a spell counter on each face-up card in the field that can place a spell counter. So a lot of spell counter combos here. Another Crystal Sears in here as well. I wonder what Konami's plan is with some cards coming out. Because I feel like eventually here they're going to want to promote Kaiba and Yugi's deck. And so I'm curious what cards they're going to come out with. Ooh! Night Beam! Oh baby! Night Beam, uh, you're going to be one of your main spells probably that you're ever going to play in this game. Target one set spell slash trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Your opponent cannot activate the target card in response to this card's activation. I mean, this might be a three of in every single deck. Some, lots, everybody's talking about it. Maybe like a two of. Um, booyah. Konami has changed the game with speed duels. And again, you guys, there is no OCG for speed duels. This is a uh, TCG only thing. So, very exciting. Oh man, Bandit Keith is back over here. You know what? I didn't realize that the skill... Um, that Bandit Keith is also on the back, or the skill cards also have the Duelist on the back, even if it doesn't show it on the front. Something to note for some of those cards. Uh, Danny Pone, the beginning of the end, and we got Spellproof Armor, another Bandit Keith spell here. All right, activate the skill during your main phase. All machine monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. You can normal summon machine normal monsters with one less tribute if a non-machine monster is in your graveyard, flip this skill over. The skill can only be used once per turn. Wow. So you activate it in your main phase, all machine monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's spells, and then you can normal summon machine monsters one less tribute. Man, if they make it like a double summon, that could get real dirty real quick. So that allows you to like just straight up summon, Is that were those guys both five stars? Launcher Spider is a seven. So one less tribute for that, making it able to be summoned with one tribute. But we talked about Pendulum Machine. He's six, so he doesn't make the cut. Oh, no, one less tribute, so he does. So 1750, 2000. I don't know if that's going to do much for you, though. 
slot machine is one less tribute. But what about gatekeepers of 1500? So interesting to see all those normal machines. Bandit Keith cards. Gotta love it. Release Restraints. So another ultra rare we're missing. You guys are seeing Release Restraints. I think you're kind of realizing at this point what's going on here. I'm surprised they didn't put Bandit Keith on the front of uh, the cover here. And they chose to do Joey. They probably thought maybe Joey would help uh, better promote the set than Bandit Keith. Throwing in a Joey card. The Gear Freed. The Sword Master, I think is his name. Wow, oh, this is great. I love how I just... All these cards, very simple, very classic, very easy to talk about these with you guys. Speed Duel, Scars of Battle. Oh, Spellbinding Circle in here, you guys. That might be a card to note as well. Um, activate card by targeting one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Uh, note that it does not say face up. Activate this card by targeting one monster your opponent controls. So if they actually set a monster, you could just be like, Spellbinding Circle that. And it's stuck. Just want to throw that out there. And they can't flip their Dekoichi or their uh, Crystal Seer if they go and get one. So, Fortress Whale, Spellbinding Circle again, Command Knight. So awesome seeing all these classic cards, you guys. Love it. Love it. Alright, let's keep going here. Uh, Machine Conversion Factory. Troop Dragon, super rare, very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, they did change the effect on Troop Dragon. Originally, it was when this card's destroyed, you go and get another one. Or when it's sent to the grave, you go and get another Troop Dragon. Um, but that got real dirty real quick when people were tributing this card for like a tribute summon. And then people were like, it misses timing. All these crazy things were happening. So eventually, Konami was like, you know what? Uh, if this card's destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, special summon a Troop Dragon from your deck. So, there you go. Um, that is not once per turn, though. So there is the whole, if there's some crazy combo going on, you could summon a Troop Dragon. Attack into a monster that's bigger. Take damage. Go get another troop dragon. Attack again. Take damage. Go get another troop dragon. I don't know if there's some combo there, but just letting you guys know that's uh, a super rare troop dragon. Interesting to see that. Maybe some classic collectors will like to to note. Troop dragon has gone from common to super. Night beam though, having the same rarity that it once had. Crystal seer going down to a super. Brick draw. Three more packs left, you guys. I believe... Are we capped on Ultras? I know. I believe we have one more Ultra, you guys. Come on. Believe in the heart of the cards. Give it to us. Gaiba! Here we go. Ooh! Mask of Darkness Ultra Rare. That is beautiful to go with our Magician of Faith from the last set. Now, Mask of Darkness can get scary real quick depending on what traps are in the game. So, uh, flip target a trap card in grave. Add that target to your end. Boom. Booyah. Fun. It's great. I wonder if they're going to print, like, Sangin or Witch in here, now that I'm seeing, like, Mask of Darkness, Metal Raiders, Magician of Faith, Metal Raiders, um, Heavy Metal Raiders, anyways, but yeah, love it, great card, uh, awesome ultra rare to pull, great box, this is really a great box, you guys, to get Night, Mean, well, Night Beam, Book of Life, Heavy Metal Raiders, and a Mask of Darkness, loving these classic cards, and I like how Konami's keeping the power level a bit, a bit, uh, I guess, lower on these different boxes. Another Fortress Whale, very nice. Gosh, it's been a while. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this opening. Again, big shout out to all of you guys for helping support Simple and Lucky, reaching our first goal, being funded on our first Simple and Lucky Game Shop Kickstarter, you guys. Honestly, it means the world to us. We could not do it without you. And uh, we're also gonna be trying to expand the Simply Unlucky team as well. Um, I think next video we'll probably be doing a uh, recruitment type announcement, so uh, be ready for that. We'll probably end up putting an email in the description or an email in the comment. Uh, we'll see how that goes, or an email uh, just said in the video. So that's a recruitment announcement for Simply and Lucky, and we are going to be able to be recruiting from all over the world. So I just want to say that for you guys. But also, yes, big shout out to Kickstarter once again. Uh, more updates coming soon, especially on the Celestial Duelist add-ons. If you guys have not already seen them, please check them out. Um, and then big thank you to you guys for supporting Simple and Lucky again. Uh, Scars of Battle though, epic, epic set here for Speed Duels. I love the uh, Bandit Keith, uh, definitely one of my favorite cheaters back in the day. And uh, a lot of cool cards in this set. I do want to show you guys real quick though some of the other Ultras in the set. Um, let's take a moment for that, some of the other Supers. Uh, just figured we'll kind of try to keep the videos under 30 minutes here instead of doing another box. So we have, here's Dekoichi Super Rare. 
Uh, definitely going to be very good super rare in this set. 1400 attack, 1000 defense, draw one card, then draw one additional card for each face up Boikoichi. Uh, we talked about that earlier. Um, Spellproof armor, we already got there. Bandit, this is Bandit Keith. If your life points are 1500 or less, activate the skill, take control of one set card your opponent controls in the spe spell or trap zone. Wow, this card can only be used once per day. That could be fun. That could be real fun, real quick. That's good. I like that. Okay, we also have Dark Red Enchanter in here. So here is the spell counter card that we were talking about. Um, if this card's normal summon, place two spell counters on it. Each time a spell card's activated, gain a spell counter on this card. When the spell resolves, it gains, or when it's resolved, sorry, gain 300 attack for each spell counter on this card. It does not have a limit, by the way, you guys. So you could keep just keep throwing spell counters. Uh, once per turn, remove two spell counters from this card. Discard one card at random from your opponent's hand. Um, so this is definitely going to end up being one of the better tribute monsters, I think, in the game. Uh, having the option to stay at 2300, not bad. Also gain spell counters from Apprentice Magician, uh, Spell Power Grasp. I don't think you'll play the plant thing, but um, then having the option to potentially just get plus ones by discarding cards in your opponent's hands. That's really good. So Dark Red Enchanter, watch out for him. Barrel Dragon, we saw it works very well with the Heavy Metal Raiders. Um, possibly having one less tribute. Nope, that's a for normal... Uh, monsters, dark machine monsters. Oh, it's like normal machines in general. Okay, doesn't need to be dark, but works well with the heavy metal raiders for sure. Crystal Seer and ultra rare gear freed the sword master. You guys, if I can get the camera to say hey to this guy, there we go. Looks beautiful and ultra rare. It already it was out ultra rare before though. Um, and I think Dekoichi, by the way, was a uh, rare before, so seeing it in Super is nice, but it did come out Ultimate. Everybody loves them Ultimates. Uh, gear for the Sword Master, though. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summon by release restraint. We saw we talked about that card when we were going through the commons. Each time an equipped spell is equipped to this target, target one monster opponent controls and destroy it. So here is a, an equipped deck. Uh, crazy things happen. Equip this guy, make him bigger. All of a sudden, your opponent's monster dies. That seems like it'd be very good in speed duels, but you are going to need to make a deck that goes around that guy. So very nice. And then the Almighty! In this set, we have Ultra Rare Metal Morph. And uh, very crazy card. This was like the best, one of the best cards in Speed uh, Duel Links when Duel Links came out. This card was really good in Classic Yu-Gi-Oh! when the video game came out. Um, it kind of floated away real quick once cards came out like Sakuretsu Armor, destroy one card. Widespread Ruin, destroy a monster when it attacks. But currently in... Um, Speed duels, there's one storm attack what we already talked about, some other traps that don't necessarily just destroy monsters without conditions. So Metal Morph could still be very powerful, uh, giving your monster a lot of attack, giving a 300 attack boost, and then when it attacks an opponent's monster, it gains half their attack, giving pretty much the possibility to Dekoichi to destroy anything. Um, very nice. Night Beam we talked about. And then last but not least, I believe we have Double Evolution. Oh, we have Vampire Lord in this set as well, you guys. Uh, this um, this monster card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. Declare one type of that card, monster, spell, or trap. Your opponent sends one card from that type from their deck to the grave. Once per turn, during the, during the standby phase, this card was destroyed. Sent to the grave by the opponent's card effect, special to the grave, from the grave. And that is uh, once per turn during your standby phase. It comes back if it's destroyed by the opponent's card. Um, so Vampire Lord works well at thinning your opponent's deck. Now, this is a big deal in speed duels because you guys only have 20 card decks, 20 to 30 card decks, but usually everyone's playing 20. Um, I can't remember if you can even have 30 right now. But either way, thinning your opponent's decks can be a big deal when you only have 20 cards in it. So Vampire Lord uh, could be very good in that, if, uh, in that concept, but also Book of Life, able to bring him back. Um, there you go. Nice Ultra Rare Vampire. Pretty card. Uh, ultra Rare, though. Has he been printed Ultra Rare? I don't. I think, yes, he has. Limited Edition, I believe, um, in, I'm just going to say, Invasion of Chaos or Pharaonic, Pharaonic Guardian. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to know exactly. And last but not least, we have um, Double Evolution Pill. Uh, people were like, no way are they going to make this card in, uh, I believe it's a secret uh, from uh, Battle of Legends Relentless Revenge, maybe? Um, and this, people were like, that card's going to be crazy good in speed duels, and then that's actually going to be very valuable in general for people. But no, they made it as a skill card. So, And it's a Rex skill, and it's interesting because you don't, haven't really seen any Rex cards. So here's a random Rex skill. Um, at the start of the draw phase, instead of drawing a card, you can pay 1,500 life points to activate this skill. Banish one dinosaur monster and one non-dinosaur monster from your hand and or grave. Wow. Special summon a level seven or higher dinosaur monster from your hand or deck, ignoring summoning conditions. This skill can only be used once per duel. What in the world is that? All of a sudden you got a T-Rex on the field. 
That is crazy cool. So, Konami, I think, did very good with their Ultras in this set. I like, I like it. It's all over the place. Um, these two skills are especially very fun, very cool. Um, it's funny, too, because both of them don't have, like, Rex on the picture. doesn't have Bandit Keith on the picture. Uh, you get to see Gear Free, the Swordmaster in here, Vampire Lord in here. Uh, very nice Ultra Rares. Dekoichi as a super. Mask of Darkness as an ultra rare as well. Crystal Seer for the Apprentice, ma uh, Apprentice Magician engine. Troop Dragon, interesting. I don't know about that, but that's still cool. Uh, but yeah, you guys, overall, I'm loving the Speed Duels. It's a blast from the past, and uh, hopefully you guys are going to be interested in some of these uh, cards. We actually will have them on the markets very soon, if not already, by the time you guys see this video. Um, again, apologies for some of the late shipments. It was just moving, transitioning into the shop. Um, so I thank you guys for being patient with us. We're working hard on making sure everybody has received all their cards. Um, also, you guys just can't wait to do some more actual tournaments or some actual physical tournaments here in the shop. The shop, again, will be opening August 26th, grand opening week. Uh, come check it out. Again, a lot of information on the Kickstarter if you guys haven't already checked it out already. Can't thank you guys enough. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Post in the comments below what you guys think about the new Yu-Gi-Oh Scars of Battle Speed Duel set. Uh, starter decks coming out very soon for Rex and Weevil may have that for you guys tomorrow or the next day so stay tuned for that and simply unlucky signing out.